Hello, I'm Jay Hunter. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing a voice. You guys know what my voice sounds like. And hello and welcome to the OSW Mountain Dew KFC Gold Honey Mustard Barbecue Pre-Show. All right, what have we got going on? This is a half hour quickie rump with your favorite racist Irish boys. And we got four things to review, I told you. Number one, we have the Raw Before the King of the Ring 94. Number two, we have the Countdown to the Crowning USA Special. Number three, we have a super secret Brucey bonus review that I won't reveal just yet, but you can find out in about 15 minutes. And four, we have the pay-per-view countdown with Todd Pettengill himself. Yeah, it's gonna happen. If you're wondering when is King of the Ring 94, it's almost finished. I'm just waiting for one or two more elements, but I'll tell you what, I am going to jettison it straight to YouTube and hopefully it'll get cleared by WWE sooner than later. So I don't have a control over that, but it should be soon. I have a good feeling about it. Uh, so I was just saying the King of the Ring uh, countdown show is finished now, so why not just upload it so you have the choice. You can watch it now or you can watch it on YouTube when King of the Ring 94 comes out. The choice is yours, sir. All right, one last thing. Aha, uh, just wanted to say can of Coke to Jay Denton 3, the J train, not any relation to me, but uh, he got a Watt Bar sign onto AW Dynamite. Splicey! Young Bucks are coming there, all in each member, their friend, Kenny Omega down to the, uh, down to the ring. And to Nick Clinkenbeard, who brought an OSW sign to the Jericho Cruise. It didn't get onto TV, but he deserves the exact same amount of kudos. So, kudos to you, sir. Thank you so much. And thank you to any of our fans who rep our t-shirts or bring signs or just hassle other people about OSW, you know, with their friends and stuff. Oh, well, thank you so much. Pop every time. Love you guys. So without any further ado, don your favorite waistcoat or bumping pants, uh, order in a breakfast roll or a Scottish salad, a bag of chips, and let's do it to it! Might have more action outside the ring than inside the ring. I'm telling you what's gonna happen tonight, you're right, Randy Savage. Get ready! It's your OSW Mountain Dew KFC Gold Honey Mustard Barbecue Pre-Show, where we'll review Raw before King of the Ring, the countdown to the crowning special, and the pay-per-view countdown itself. Raw before King of the Ring, 6 June 1994, from the Struthers Field House in Youngstown, Ohio. Kick off hot! No, kick off cold, a lumberjack match <laughs> for the last King of the Ring spot. Heel Crush Bra versus Tatanka. This match was like 20 minutes long. About 17 minutes of which was Crush lying on the canvas with a choke. Ah, Steve, come on. You're selling them short. There was a rest hold chin lock, rest hold body scissors. There was a body scissors, yes. I have that written down. And rest hold front face lock. <laughs> there you go. Uh, like this, it, it is Tatanka. It's not, it couldn't be Crush. Crush is okay. Yeah. Oh man, 1994, new gen, which means they've had to cancel house shows because, you know, business is really down. Uh, they went to Japan, you know, half filling the arenas and stuff like that. But it was actually okay. They didn't lose any money because they were paid up front. Ha <laughs> ha! You know? Yeah. Um, but I'm so impressed about how high energy Vince is. The speed of him, he was just like, oh, here we are, the new generation. There's Tatanka, there's the crush. You never see action like this. You know, he's going 90. And I was like, the speed at which Vince talks is directly proportional to how bad business is. <laughs> <laughs> Behind him, L and Crush attacking Tataka. Tataka to strike him. But that can happen. It can happen very easily in a lumberjack. That's devastating, Salatke. Just high-pitched, hard selling of this match. But it's like, mate, I can see who's in the ring and around the ring, the lumberjacks. All right. Friend of Mo, Mabel. Oh, yes. Yeah. Garbage man, Duke Drosy. The Bush Knackers. Baby face doink. Milky bar kid smoking guns. Okay, in the ring you've got Tatanka and Crush. Okay, I'll, you have a pass. Mulleted Crush. Mm. Butt plug Holly. Mm. Adam Baum. Blistering pink country western Jeff Jarrett. Nothing wrong there. Quang! <laughs> <laughs> Bammer and IRS. Oh, actually, decade past his prime, Nikolai Volkov. Uh. Oh my God, he's fucking back. So he came back about a week or two earlier. He comes out with his big old man barrel chest. Uh, the roid belly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the fucking state of him. And so he is now owned by the Million Dollar Man. And he's making him wear uh, property of the Million Dollar Man jocks. And, and he's basically making him do his dirty work. 
But instead of having a dollar sign on the back like Million Dollar Man, he has a cent sign. <laughs> Very which is nice. great. That's yeah. good. Which is Pretty which is yeah. actually yeah. great. Uh, he was like the first member of Million Dollar Man's stable. What was the name of the stable? Oh, the Million Dollar Corporation. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, a fucking a neon sea of spandex here. A cacophony of curtain jerkers. <laughs> uh, but we do get Bad Mang, Kid Mang, and Sumo Mang. Like, they shouldn't be lumberjacks. Way too good for that shit. Chuck Buffalo to the outside, Big Schmoz. Chuck Crush out, Big Schmoz. Luger from out of nowhere with a bionic forearm and throws Crush into the ring. And Tatty picks up the win. Why Luger? Crush cost him his King of the Ring spot. Lex wasn't allowed to be a lumberjack for this very reason that he'd interfere, but uh, I didn't stop him. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing stops Lex. I mean... (laughs) Except some kind of world title push. <laughs> <laughs> Except for crowd apathy. Oh, no. 17 minutes, 14 seconds. The Tonka goes on to the King of the Ring and faces the Rocket. Okay, I really thought that it was about six or seven minutes longer than that. Yeah, um, and in the entrances, and yeah, yeah. It was so fucking boring. I, Jesus Christ. And I had literally just watched the like raw earlier and so i watched that match which was the main event and then we come back and it's right back to this match was, oh my god what are you doing to me vince he's like oh, old and then he showed this like you know black and white clip of like a race driver or like a fucking um the right brothers hindenburg or the right brothers and new nascar mls sucker nfl Old, he's this like you know old farty man who oh, he used to be, he used to be, and then new like wow, oh, it's mega dead, it's me over here, the kiss demon. <laughs> so they are in full new gen cell mode as we will get into yeah. during the show. Yeah, they good. they don't stop. But what what made me laugh about that little snippet was um, old. Hulk Hogan, <laughs> Andre the Giant, new is like Tatanka. Honestly, like you can't compare. That's the last thing you want. You would have wanted. Absolutely. I don't, I don't know. Have old as like King Kong Bundy or I don't know he came back. That would have been Boris. Bad. He would have been old <laughs> and new. <laughs> <laughs> Boris Zuka. Oh yeah, yeah. Old. Yes. 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 Nikolai Volkov. Yeah. New. <laughs> into the future. Experience the new WWF generation. Hey everybody, it's Todd Pettengill with your official da-da-da-da King of the Ring report here on Monday Night Raw. I've got to take a second. Uh, we got a King of the Ring report. Holy shit, Todd's pay-per-view t-shirt. It's a glorious, text-heavy, street-like 90s garb. It's great. I love Todd. He's great at his job. And they didn't make it easy on him. But Diesel, mark my words, I know one thing. When you step in the ring with me, keep in mind that a Diesel can never outrun or outperform a Porsche. During this, we got a great Brett promo. Diesel, you're like a big Mack truck, but you can never outrun a Porsche. I was like, okay. But I'll tell you what he can do, Brett. He could smash you out of (laughs) it with his mass. (laughs) Yeah, is Brett implying he's going to run away? (laughs) I can run away from you (laughs) What a baby (laughs) Welcome back everyone From our Monday Night Raw Vince McMahon here Along with the Macho Man Randy Savage We're having some fun here Uh Big Bum Begalow Versus John Paul (laughs) Bammer holds JP's legs 100 degrees apart Apparently this is a painful submission Unsuccessful, but kicks out after barely a one count. And that's that. Clothesline, twisting splash pin, and the jobber squash ends in 242. The Everage of Bam Bam, that's enough on to it. Yeah, lights up for John Paul. Victory for Bam Bam Bigelow and a very busy day for Bam Bam. D Day Challenge, tug of war at the USS Intrepid. WWF superstars beat various Marine, Navy, and Coast Guards. By the way, even in the footage, highly edited, Bammer fell and had to get back up. Automatic DQ. He's in bits. He's dying. Mm. Like, he's just pulling on a bit of rope, let's. 
and he's dying. It's better than pushing rope. <laughs> Jerry Lawler trots out definitely the real Roddy Piper. Oh my God. I've been working out in the gym every day. I'm in the best condition of my life, man. Oh man. Hey. I thought he was good, this guy. Yeah. His impression is excellent. Mm. That's actually how we got the gig. He just sent in a tape to Roddy Piper and Roddy's like, oh, he's really good and showed it to Lawler. He's like, can we do something with this guy? And they're like, yeah, yeah, we'll give him a grand and he'll come on raw. Oh, so like this guy isn't someone from like TV or some other media. He's just some... Who would hire him? <laughs> <laughs> not a not television, radio, yeah. you know. <laughs> oh, okay, no. I love the way Steve was like TV or... Internet wasn't around. Some other media. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, ham radio. <laughs> Lawler says his biceps look like mosquito bites on a strand of spaghetti. That's yeah, good. Yeah. So Scotland's answer to skinny knacker, Scotty knacker. <laughs> uh, Scotty knacker does a decent impression of Piper. And he has the kind of chuckle after his, you know, finishes the sentence. Uh, he says he's doing a sequel to Hell Comes the Frog Town called... Hell Comes to Dogtown, starring members of his family. Hey, oh. Oh, got, a, got a laugh out of me. Honestly, the movie would probably be better than Hell Comes to uh, Frogtown. People in dog costumes. Yeah. Up, you get dog tits oh. instead of frog tits. <laughs> I haven't seen the uh, Frogtown. Oh, I'll send you the link. I won't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> please, Jerry. I'm begging you. I'm begging you, please. <laughs> Don't make me fight you. So, young boy, as he's come to be known as, <laughs> uh, willingly kisses Lawler's feet to get out of the match and scoots out of the ring. And the cosmic ballet goes on. And uh, do you like this? I thought he was good at what he did, but I thought that the actual segment was shite. Like, I don't know what they're trying to do here. It doesn't make me want to see this match. So, from that point of view, it's, it's bollocks. Piper hmm. must be boiling over! As we look now! That's a bad guy, Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon versus Keith Davis. I've had uh, written down here going, uh, jobber match with some goof called Keith Davis. Hold on a sec. That's Jeff fucking Hardy. Uh, which is great because last week, Matt Hardy had a match on Raw. He uh, got squashed by Nikolai Volkov. Dyed brown crew cut. And he has a little piggy... Um, <laughs> pigtail. Not pigtail. Uh, 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 rat's tail. Rat's tail, yeah. yeah. Piggy rat's tail. It is Jeff Hardy, isn't it? It is Jeff Hardy. He's probably like 15 and <laughs> say he's 18. You know? He looks the exact same. He just yeah. has that knacker face about him. And the Hall of Fame. Right, Wait a minute, what's this? Welcome to the big time, Chief. Welcome to the big time. Oh, my goodness. Trent's the jobber. Welcome to the big time, Chico. As he eats the bad man's foot, pick up the waster by his belt line. What do you call it? Like if you pick someone up by like the back of their belt, do you know what I mean? Like you... yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. Is that the scruff? Where is it? It's like when you hoy somebody. That's hoying, isn't it? Hoist them. Hoy. No, hoy. Hoy them. Hoy, hoy them into the sea, like. Ahoy. Ahoy. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Hoy the waster <laughs> by his belt line. Uh, shove him into the turnbuckle. Brett's rope. Big back body drop. Razor's edge. One, two, three. I predict Razor's going to win this match. Hey, that's a great prediction. I, I won, that. I was right. So far, you're batting a thousand this week. After four minutes, that's the main event done with. But we're not done just yet. Vince and Macho hock next week's show, which isn't Raw, but rather Countdown to the Crowning. On commentary, DiBiase says he'll produce The Undertaker this weekend on Superstars. And Paul Bearer says, bollocks, no way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is true, actually. The 11th June Superstars at the Heartbreak Hotel, DiBiase introduces The Undertaker, which is actually Brian Lee. But uh, shot him from the back in kind of low angles. We'll do a close-up to him, but we'll put the mic in his face so he can't really see it and he just says the only thing to fear is fear itself and DBOC cackles Tigger was in the arena to give Brian Lee tips on the kind of subtleties of his character but he didn't appear or dub the voice kind of Black Scorpion style uh, and that's it for Undertaker on this OSW <laughs> I remember they did a really good job with Brian Lee as the Undertaker in the build-up. Maybe, I, I, maybe I, I'm going to be corrected in the next couple of episodes, but I seem to remember thinking it was Taker. Yeah, he had him down pat. Yeah, he looks great. And 
as long as you don't have Mark Calloway beside him, mm-hmm. that's yeah, the thing yeah, where yeah. it yeah. falls apart. Yeah. yeah, literally when they were face to face at SummerSlam '94. Oh shame. Yeah, it's like fuck, and we can't back out now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've already paid though. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, and so up next is Countdown to the Crowning. Isn't and- that when the baby's head is beginning to? Oh. Come out? <laughs> <laughs> Monday Night Raw, yeah. very special edition of Monday Night Raw. I'm Vince McMahon, along with the macho man Randy Savage. This is Countdown to the Crowning. Countdown to the Crowning, 13th June 1994. Studio Macho and Vince invite us to this week's Not Raw, which is just a one-hour hard sell for King of the Ring. Since it's technically not Raw, it's officially Countdown to the Crowning. It's not on the network, sad face. Fret you not, here's your exclusive singular match. Uh, but there's 46 minutes in the show. <laughs> Quebecers versus tag champions, the Head Shrinkers, with Captain Lou. On commentary are Stan Lane and Ted DiBiase. Oh my god, Stan Lane is so bad. He's just doing a bad version of fucking Vince. Yeah. Look at this move here. Oh, Chuck telegraphed that move and took a big, big Samoan type headbutt for his efforts. Do you think it makes kayfabe sense that these, you know, island tribesmen, the hungry savages, they just wear the belts as belts? Well, oh, you think, well, didn't they at one point have it in their teeth? I think that's exactly what I wanted. Mm. But Umaga used to... Yeah, ah, yeah, sorry, yeah. that's... I uh, apologize. Uh, uh, r- racist, you yeah. know, yeah, apologies. They're they all, they're all some of them, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all related anyway, so... <laughs> no, I mean this family, not oh, all right, Samoans. Yeah, yeah. I mean oh, this yeah, yeah. particular family, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that shovel. <laughs> um, Samu with a diving headbutt. That must hurt double. Fatu eats a face slam No effect Tap the hard head The match is in fast forward Double single leg dropkick Club Jacques out Double Russian leg sweep to Pierre Super Simone splash And one, two, three That is it in 718 Head shrinkers devour the Quebecers And are going to King of the Ring To face Yoko and Crush Forget about it Go ahead, shrinker That's it? You make me sit through a 20-minute lumberjack match where they lie on the ground for 17 minutes and we get a six-minute match that doesn't even get a chance? Uh, I was really pissed off. Oh, Check the watch. Oh, my God. We've 36 minutes left. <laughs> just got a hard sell, <laughs> King of the Ring. So it's just pre-taped promo packages and vignettes left. To the head drinkers, the crush says, congrats on becoming champions, but commiserations, you got to face himself and Yoko. Cornet says, head drinkers will pay for their treachery, turning his back on their fellow island brethren, Fujin Yoko. I think that's quite clever. Yeah. Mm. Well, um, it's... A different it, island. It is, <laughs> and it's not because, you know... Yoko is ja- is <laughs> Japanese, right? Uh, but it's isn't Japan part of Polynesia? Or of course maybe? it is. Yeah, Polynesia. Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. There you yeah. go. There we go. We're, no, cut that out, Jay. Yeah. Well, I see if it is. Uh, yeah, if it is. Yeah. Can you say it? Is? Oh, yeah, it is part of Asia. Oh, of course it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, nah, it isn't. Isn't it? No, I was only joking. <laughs> oh, I, I tapped the hard head, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Great joke, isn't it? Uh, yeah. The revenge of the tribal chieftains is going to rain down on you. Bonsai! <laughs> now that's a battle you don't want to miss, and it's for the Tag Team Championship. Hey, show some respect. Hope oh, the hitman shut some up. In ring, King's Court talk show segment with Lawler and his guest, Brett the Hitman Hart. Jerry ribs Brett. Remember last year's King of the Ring where I crowned you? Ha ha! Or do you have too much oil in your head and it slipped your mind? <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's, a, that's a zinger, lads. Mm. Very brave of him. Ah, because there are two more guests, HBK and Diesel. See, Brett is defending his WWF title against Diesel at King of the Ring, is he? When Brett cuts a bland promo, Sean Douchebag exaggerates listening in. He's like, eh, eh. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, what a yeah. dick. He's so great. <laughs> And then Sean starts talking and Matt Truck sucker punches Brett and the hyenas pummel Hitman and Lawler gets in on it. So the three of them just start beating up on Brett. Awesome. Hilarious. In a promo afterwards, Hitman exclaims to watch his back at King of the Ring. He'll have a family member at ringside. I was like, please be Bruce. Please be Bruce. <laughs> please be Bruce. I want you to know one thing, Shawn Michaels, because I'm going to have a family member. He's called me up, and he's voiced concern about you, and he's going to be there to back me up. I got everything set. Diesel, you're going down. 
Recently, we were privileged to attend the World Wrestling Federation Hall of Fame inductions. Hall of Fame 1994, it's back on in dinner form. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, just a night in having dinner and speeches. And that looked pretty cool. Yeah, it looked nice. The class is pretty it's great. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it was, we had uh, like manager extraordinaire James Dudley, who is uh, Vince's limo driver. <laughs> Very good. The original nature boy, Buddy Rogers. Yes. Peerless Bobo Brazil. Hmm. Rugged Arnold Skoland. Oh, you set me up and knocked me down expertly <laughs> there. Classy Freddie Blassie. Yes. Great warrior, Chief J. Strongbow, and the unstoppable Gorilla Monsoon. Oh, man, it's a stacked class, isn't it? So basically, it's everyone that we watched back in, like, what, 98, where they'd have, like, WWF Legends and all these clips. This is basically who. Yeah, pretty cool. I can still hear the echoes cheering my name. But today... I cheer for them. Ooh, let's see how everyone qualified for the King of the Ring. IRS, Aloha Shyster, allows him to grab the ropes, roll through Scott Steiner's pin attempt with his own, and with the foot on the ropes, success! 10 on 10, mate. This was Scotty's last match, as the Steiners didn't want to split up like Vince wanted, and no show WWF events until they got out of their contract. That's awesome. Mabel qualified with a shit rock bottom on Quebecer Pierre. Raise Mang carved up quang with a razor's edge. <laughs> Bammer with a big clothesline to Sparky. Bigelow flop splash to the inside. And he's going to the King of the Ring. Double J versus Lex. Crush Pearl Harbor's Lex on the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No! Actually, Lex could have made it back in, but he just ran to Crush instead and willingly got counted out. He's such an idiot. When it, like, <laughs> in booking, he's a Stupid man. Yeah. Mm. One, two, three, kid. Dumb heels, quang. Spits <laughs> mist into Adam Bomb's face, allowing the kid to get the schoolboy. Uh, <laughs> Owen Hart. Jarrett slowly absconds with Dink. He picks him up. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, calls to get a distraction, allowing Owen to roll up Doink. And rounding out the field is Tuktonka on last week's Raw Lumberjack with Tatty and Crush. Lex forearms bra bra out of the King of the Ring. But you'd already know he advanced if you read WWF magazine because due to the time it takes to print stuff out, they just have the results in the brackets and that came out before the match aired. Oh my God. Mm. So you, ooh, there we go. Mm. But, uh, Which is a bit weird because there were a couple of matches that didn't actually happen. Like, uh, I think Owen was meant to take on Earthquake. Yes. And there was one more. There was uh, to Tonka was meant to take on Jimmy Del Rey. Oh, no. And so both of those matches never actually happened. Mm. Quake Muffin, uh, he's already gone because he was like, I don't like the look of these three lawsuits Vince has and my mate Hogan is in WCW. Uh, Let's just go there instead. Nice. Macho predictions. This was fucking great. Oh, Steve, you love it. He's just riffing beside a big King of the Ring tournament board. And he's like, you know, predicting who win. He's like, oh, Bam Bam uses osmosis on Razor. <laughs> and then Vince just turns deadpan to the camera and is like, he uses osmosis. <laughs> <laughs> Serious as anything. It's brilliant. Bam Bam uses osmosis on Razor Ramon. Mm-hmm. The old yeah. osmosis trick. Yeah, that's right. What do you think? And he's like, own heart, the rocket. He's going to lose because he's going to run out of rocket fuel. It's fucking amazing. Oh, yeah, Jeff Jared. He's going to lose because he's going to get distracted by a Music City producer, Scout. Why Why couldn't he take it seriously and and actually analyze the matchups and determine who's going to oh, win based a, on his experience? He's got a little mountain of coke, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about halfway through it. Uh, yeah, he says uh, Bammer wins, but Jarrett gets to sing us out. What a terrible pay-per-view. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets to sing the last little thing that we hear at the King of the Ring, and he's horrible. It's your countdown to the crowning made of it, which is not a thing. <laughs> Funny Jack Tunney, come on down. Given a live mic. What pipe bomb has he got? He's introducing the King of the Ring combatants. The winner will be crowned King of the Ring after the tournament. Vince immediately gets a dig in. He's like, well, he can't be crowned before the tournament. Man, they just take it in turns to bury this man. It's like, 
in kayfabe, he's your boss. And they're just going, oh, this guy is fucking useless. He's stupid. He's an idiot. It's amazing. So I'd like to introduce to you all eight participants, one of whom will wind up king of the ring after the tournament. Well, they can't be king of the ring before the tournament. Probably my favorite part. Razor is coming out. He's a baby face and he walks up to Tony and he puts out his hand and he's, he's like, shake it, bro. And then as Tony goes, he's like, uh, uh, no way, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he just gets in the ring. I was like, literally, no one respects this man. At least he didn't throw his toothpick in his face. Oh. <laughs> You, you know the way you have all the combatants uh, in the ring beforehand to set up the pay-per-view, like here's a Pier 6 brawl or whatever. How do you like this, Steve? No schmoz. Everyone just stands there politely. That's it. Is there a bit of like, no. ooh? No. No? No, everyone stands perfectly cordial. <laughs> like in a line? Yeah, yeah, they're kind of, everyone's presenting in a towards semi the semicircle. Yeah. Oh, they're, it's kind of like um, the diva search. They're all kind of. Exactly. Yes. Like the diva yeah, search. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And that's it. Six and a half minutes of time wasted. Yeah. USA. A OK. Give us that check, please. <laughs> yes, it's Father's Day. The king of the castle, the king of the ring. Join us this Sunday night. So long, everybody. Actually, Steve, did you watch the... There was this weird uh, fan cam footage for Backstage Raw 26th April 94? I did 94 watch it. From Vermont? I did, I did watch it. Uh, oh, my God. Edden Cool? No. What do you got for us? Pretty bad trick you played on Adam Bomb in Memphis. I don't know, have any idea what you're doing. <laughs> Well, yes, you do, but you won't say it. But well, I ain't going to say Where are you from? I'm from Montreal. Oh, Montreal? Yeah, but we read the sheet, you know. If you know what I mean. This is camcorder footage of super fans backstage at a show in Canada. They are like hardcore fans, and by God, they let the wrestlers know it. So wrestlers come out, and everyone, you know, is like, Diesel, Diesel. And he's like, Hey, Scott, 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 hey, hey, Scott, Scott, how was the AWA? As I mean, just like, he oh. just has to let everyone know that he reads <laughs> the sheets. Mm. So basically, he creeps out Jimmy Del Rey. He creeps out Jimmy Del Rey? He has <laughs> none of it. He is, you can tell that he's pissed off. Um, Cornette is nice to them. The smoking guns have none of them mm. at all. They're like, hey, hey, jobbers, hey, jobbers, jobbers. Oh, that's mean. They're like, they're cunts. I, I hated this guy. Um, who else? Hey, jobbers. To? Sorry, that's very <laughs> yeah. funny. I, I want to see who turns around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he talks to Harvey Whippleman and he's getting him to sign something. And he's like, hey, don't sign as Harvey. Sign it as downtown Bruno, please. And like, Harvey's like, who's that? <laughs> And then your man's like, well, I read the sheets. <sighs> and so then... Um, Is that like when they had the kind of printer paper from the 80s with the sprocket <laughs> holes under it? Yeah. <laughs> Brian Clark comes out and Brian, they're like, Brian. hey, Brian, Brian, Brian. Hey, hey, Brian. <laughs> sign this, Brian. Brian, sign it. And he's like, okay. And he's like, don't sign as Brian. Sign it as the Night Stalker. And he turns around to Harvey and he's just like, these fucking geeks, mate. Yeah? Yeah, it's so bad. And then the highlight of the show is after Raw is finished and they're all waiting out in the parking lot and there's wrestlers coming over and they're like, hey, Owen, Owen, Owen. Uh, Owen. Aaron. <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Owen has none of it e, and he just walks by and then the main event, Yoko walks out. It's like, Hey Rodney! Hey Rodney! Oh, fuck hey off. Rodney! Oh, seriously. And Yoko just walks up and puts his face at the camera and he's like, get that fucking camera out of my face. And he's like, oh shit, sorry, sorry, sorry. And then that's it. It was one of the most frustrating 27 minutes I've ever had, and I hated these people. I hate they're the worst wrestling fans. Does it make you embarrassed to be a wrestling fan? Yeah. Because they're representing you. Yeah. 
Yeah. Splicey, please. I, I really uh, want to. I yeah. really want to splice you this. It okay. sounds awesome. You've made it sound great, Steve. I'm sure it's excruciating. <gasps> twenty-seven minutes of that, like twenty-seven. I want all this. twenty. I want twenty-eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney, how are you doing? How are you doing? Fucking camera away from you. Sorry. <laughs> And for OSW Mountain Dew KFC Gold Honey Mustard Barbecue Pre-Show main event, we have the King of the Ring pay-per-view countdown itself. Todd Peckinpah, as Johnny Polo calls him, throws the polo, who's palling around in the back with Shawn Michaels. HBK isn't worried about which family member Brett will have at ringside, because even though he's got like 50 of them, he'll smack them all around. I love that. Shawn, you're fucking great, mate. Brett the Hitman Hart, I know you got a family member, and I know I'm supposed to be all panicked, right? I mean, it could be one of what, 50? There's got to be 50 hearts. But every one of you, I can smack around. We are back, folks. Todd Pettengill yeah. celebrating Father's Day. And Do you like Vince's date nomenclature? Like, they keep saying Father's Day. It's Father's Day rather than the date. They never say 19th of mm -hmm. June, because that's how Vince likes promoting shows. Like, two weeks this Sunday, you know? Why? What the fuck is that about? Maybe people would know, here, Sunday week, keep that free, as opposed to like, keep the 19th free. Do you know what I mean? I don't. I no. couldn't work like that. You, you, you having that? Uh, dates. Mm. Yeah, I, like, I always thought like, you know, the name of the show, the name of the place mm. and the date. Yep. Bam, yeah. bam, bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you like all the ads they're modelled on Tyson versus Holyfield or uh, Simpson versus Tatum? <laughs> <laughs> If he, <laughs> it's time for he's paid his dues. <laughs> time for payback. Bret Hart battles Jason, champion versus champion. Uh, oh, we get a dark match. Thirteen minutes left. Todd waves off the dark show bout. He's like, oh, there's Sparky Plug and Quang on the on the Titan Tron. Ah, I get rid of that. It's like, oh mate, that's their livelihood. <laughs> Hilarious. Still counts. Still counts. <laughs> And Savio Vega, he would be in the finals of next year's King of the Rings. Oh my goodness, will he? Mm. 95. <laughs> As any hot the dogs. dark years. We're, we're finishing in WrestleMania 11. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> Before then. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we hot dogs about the tournament brackets. Uh, oh, ha, oh, ha. Oh. Introducing Macho. The best bit of this, Macho's theme hits for his entrance. The door is open. And Art Donovan walks out in front of Macho. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Macho just shoes him back. Oh, that's amazing. Hey, Randy. Hey, Randy. <laughs> Randy. 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 He Randall. just calls him Randy Randall. throughout yeah. the entire yeah. show. There's no Macho. Yeah. There's no one. He's like, yeah. Let me hey, ask Randy. You a question. <laughs> I think that was Art Donovan. That was Art Donovan in the back of him. Randy. We're prematurely Art yeah. here. Yeah. 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 The pay-per-view hasn't started. He's gold already. Todd tells Art Donovan, you're going to have a great night. <laughs> <laughs> Alarm bells ringing. Todd is like, your pick is Razor, right? You know, <laughs> did you have to tell him what you did? Oh, oh dear. Oh, dear. Um, to see us out, one last thing. Todd was insane for the unbelievable drops. We haven't even started the pay-per-view. How many times? Okay, Raw, countdown to the crowning and the pay-per-view countdown. How many times? Unbelievable. In, in Just, including the paper. No, 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 not the paper. Okay. Pre, pre show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> like ten. Mm? Nineteen. Oh wow, eleven. Wow, uh, right. that's still too fucking many. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And if you include the pay per view, eighteen asterisks, where it, <laughs> where it's two is like I don't believe it. Kid can't believe it. <laughs> 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 What's that EMF? Three, two, call pay per view. We'll see you in a minute. Ooh, yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. 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 You're unbelievable. Well, that does it for OSW 88 Countdown to the Crowning pay per view special. Hope I didn't edge you too bad just giving you the pre show. When is King of the Ring 94 coming out? Just as soon as WWE allowed on YouTube. Fingers crossed it'll be pretty soon. You can follow me on Twitter at OSW Review for updates. If you can't wait, we have extra TV, film and game reviews on Nogger U. Actually just posted CM Punk's movie debut, Girl on the Third Floor. Was he better than Miz in his debut? And roll and find out. Spoiler alert. He wasn't, but watch the review anyway. So see you next time, or cunt for short, or King of the Ring 94. And remember, 
a winner is you. 